What if I told you that after a morning of a little bit of DIY, you could culture one of the best supplements for your reef aquarium right in your own home and keep that culture going for potentially years to come, providing you with something that you can put in your tank that is not only going to feed your corals and your micro crustaceans and things like that, but it's also going to help you stabilize your water parameters as well. I'm talking about live phytoplankton, which is what's in this jar right here. This is Tetris Selmus, and it's so easy to culture this stuff in your home and so beneficial to your aquarium that I'm honestly surprised at this point. It's not standard procedure for most reef keepers to do this in their home. Everything that you need to do this can be purchased for under $100, and I have a link in the description if you want to use my links to help me out and get this stuff. And you just put this together, and you're good to go. All right, so what you're going to need is some sort of a container. I use this one gallon glass jar. It's got a twist off lid, makes things super easy to get done. I'm using LED strips for mine, but there's a lot of different lights you can use, like the plant grow fluorescent ones. You're going to need one of these back siphon prevention valves. Those are pretty easy. They come in the kit with the airline that I've included. You're going to need some tape, maybe a drill or something else to poke a couple of holes in that lid. Of course, some phytoplankton and some food to feed them. So you're going to want to drill two holes in the lid, one for the air hose to go through for the air pump, and the other one is an air vent. I apologize, the color is blown out. The LEDs, you're going to want to make sure that you put the LEDs around the jar with the LED pointing to the inside. Don't pull the sticky tape back thing off the back or whatever. Just uh, put the LEDs toward the inside, leave the backing on the back, bunch them together every now and then as you see me doing here, and secure them down with a little piece of tape. And then you're going to go ahead and do this on the rest of the jar for the entire length of the LED strip. And this is what it looks like kind of when you get done. I like to fold the pigtail over and put a piece of tape on it just so that it points up. It seems to make things a little easier. Take some bigger tape. And again, I'm sorry it's blown out for the color, but you get the idea. Take some bigger tape. This is a Gorilla Tape, so I really had to kind of rough it up a little bit. And wrap that around all of the LEDs, making sure that you overlap onto the glass on the top and the bottom. And then, there you go. Make sure everything's all sealed up nice and tight. And you're going to measure out your airline like this, a little longer than the bottle, and then a little extra. Cut that piece of airline. You're going to cut a second piece of airline that is going to be, I don't know, four to five inches. It really doesn't matter. Use the included suction cup. Stick it to the bottom. Put the airline through the lid uh, to the jar like so. And then put the other little piece of air tubing in there for the vent. And you're going to want to install that back siphon valve. These only go one way. There's a little arrow, so pay attention to that. And then cut another little piece of airline, put that on, and then put the control valve right on the end of that, and your jar is ready to go. And hey, listen, if all this just sounds like a little bit too much work for you or you don't have the time, you can just purchase live phytoplankton from podyareef.com. Use the code on the screen right now to get yourself 10% off a bottle of this stuff. This is exactly the same stuff, but it's just chilled and it's not going to work if you want to culture your own. But it's good stuff. All right, so this is where I'm keeping my phytoplankton and you can see the difference in color between this bottle and this bottle here. I dripped some salt water down the side of this one the other day. It got on the LEDs. So make sure when you're taping these off, you tape really tightly around the top. Might be a good idea to put an extra layer of tape around there just to keep that water off. So I need to swap this bottle out. We're going to take it out and put in the bottle that we just made, and then we'll be good to go. My assistant has given up on me halfway through the project. In addition to the other benefits, these things also consume CO2 from the aquarium, and that increases and stabilizes your pH as well. All right, so this is where our process is gonna differ a little bit. All I have to do is dump my phytoplankton back in this jar, but in your case, you're going to want to fill this jar up with salt water anywhere from about 1.018 up to 1.025 salinity. It really doesn't matter. And you don't have to heat this system at all. As long as your house is over like freezing, it's going to be all right. My house is at 74, no heat required. This is the phytoplankton that I've used for my culture. It's from Mercer of Montana. This stuff is very, very, very potent. So when you get this, you're only going to need to use about half of one of these in one of these gallon jars. And you could even go a little bit less than that if you wanted to. And you could split, you know, two thirds of a jar in between two jars like I have here. And you could save that one third for the next week. Just in case something happens to your culture, you still have a little bit left to try it again.
All right, so I got my phytoplankton over in the jar now, and if you added the water and you added some of that phyto from that other bottle into yours, you're ready for the next step. This is the fertilizer that I've been using. It's Gouillard's F2, and it's in that link that I mentioned before. Now, it comes with a little dropper just like this that's marked on there. All you need to do is draw up about half of a dropper full or so. That's all you need. Drop that right in there, and that's going to be all the food that your phytoplankton needs to finish its entire life cycle over the next 10 days or so. You might even let it go 14 days just to get extra dark. But a pro tip, if you want to really increase the output of your phytoplankton on about day seven, add one more milliliter of this to your phytoplankton culture, and it's just going to boost that thing into this super dark green phytoplankton concentration that is amazing for your reef tank. The only thing left is to go ahead and pop this lid on and I've got that done right there. The bubble quantity in this is looking good. Now you're only going to want to run these lights for about 12 hours on and then 12 hours off. The phytoplankton needs some time to rest when it's not doing photosynthesis. That's a very important part of this process. So you can put it on a timer or you can just simply do what I do when I get up in the morning, when I'm drinking my coffee, I'll turn the lights on. Before I go to bed, I'll turn them off. Now that you understand how easy and how beneficial this stuff is for your aquarium, all you gotta do is watch this video right here. And that's gonna help me out and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one.